Before starting the inspection, make sure the loader arms are on the ground, the machine is in neutral and that the part brake is on. Then secure the articulation pin. Move to the front left hand tire, checking for signs of any damage. Look out for bulges, cuts or excessive wear, and embedded objects in the tires such as nails or bits of scrap metal. Also look out for any air leaks or punctures. Incorrect tire pressures will affect the machine's stability. On all wheeled loaders, tire pressure should be higher on the front tires to cope with the additional weight when the bucket is loaded. It's good practice to check the pressures regularly to avoid accelerated tire wear or unsafe operation. When doing this, always refer to the tire pressure chart in the operator's manual before inflating the tires. Reinstall the valve caps firmly to prevent dirt from entering the valve. Continue the checks on the other tires as you move around the machine. As you move around the machine, remove any dirt or debris, especially from round the loader end linkage points and pivot pins. Inspect all steel work for signs of damage. Pay particular attention to the pivot point weld and check the pivot points are correctly in place and secure. Continue to check for damage or missing parts as you move around the machine. When using hydraulic attachments, take the time to clean the auxiliary connection points. This will help protect against any hydraulic contamination. Whilst you're at the front of the machine, take this opportunity to grease the loader end. Do this regularly and after washing or steam cleaning. Two strokes with the grease gun should be enough. Stop when grease appears at the joint. There's 14 grease points on this machine. Always refer to the operator's manual as some grease points may be out of sight. As a tip, it's recommended you wear gloves when greasing the machine, as grease from your hands could later be transferred to the machine's controls, resulting in unsafe operation. As we can see, this machine is fitted with a quick hitch. Always check the attachment pickup points and pin locking mechanism is secure. Check the toe plate of the attachment for any signs of damage. Look out for signs of uneven wear, as this could indicate low tire pressure on one side of the machine. Whilst we're at this point of the machine, it's worth noting the location of the tie down points. There's two on the front axle and two on the rear. Refer to the tie down procedure in the operator's manual when preparing the machine for transport on a trailer. Remember, always fit the central safety pin when transporting the machine. Continuing the inspection, check the cab glass and mirrors for cracks, reporting and replacing items if damaged. Check all the lamp lenses, visually inspect the hydraulic hoses and fittings for damage or kinks. To access the fuses and relays, open this side panel and remove this cover. If a fuse blows, find out why and correct the fault before installing a new one. You will also find the cab air filter here. If required, you can shake out loose dust from this filter. Replace if severely blocked or damaged. Check for oil, fuel and coolant leaks below the machine. This also ensures you have checked no one is working under the machine before beginning operation. The mesh on the engine cover prevents larger particles being drawn into the cooling pack. Material small enough to pass through this should also pass through the fins of the cooling pack to prevent it plugging up. If material does build up on the mesh, always clean it off when carrying out your inspection. These machines are versatile, highly maneuverable pieces of equipment with safety features built in. However, it's up to you to understand the machine before putting it to use. Always refer to the operator's manual if you're unsure of anything.